now that we have an idea of what opportunity cost represents, let's do some examples that help us calculate what the opportunity cost is. So I've got a first example here, right? So what is the opportunity cost of college? So let me just bring up a, another sheet of paper here. Not having good luck with my uh, notebook here. So what is the opportunity cost of college? Now, a lot of you, when I say, what is the cost of college? You're going to tell me what's the direct cost, right? So let's say that that's, you know, oh, I don't know, we'll say it's $15,000 a year, right? Between tuition and room and board and fees and rent and all of that stuff. We'll just, we'll just call it 15,000 to get a, a nice even number. It's probably, I don't know. Well, you, you can tell me from your experience whether that's uh, high or low, but we'll call it 15,000 um, per year. And you're gonna do that for four years, 15,000 times four years, that's $60,000. It's probably a, probably a bit high, um, but I don't know. Uh, you, you can tell me, like I said. So, um, Let's say it's going to cost me $60,000. So I ask most people, how much did college cost you? And they'll say $60,000. Okay. Um, but that's only a fraction of the cost. So you're saying, oh, what do you mean? Fraction of the cost. So we're forgetting about the opportunity cost here, um, which is the value of my next best use of time. Now, if I asked you, if you didn't go to college, what would you have done with your time? And... Unless you're uh, independently wealthy and you're just here for fun, most of you would say, well, I, I would have gotten a job right out of high school then. I would have graduated high school and, and kept working. So what's the, the value of my next best use, best alternative, is working. Right, so the opportunity cost of college is the value of working. Now, what exactly is that? Well, we can do kind of a simple calculation. So let's say that my wage is $15 per hour. So I can get a job that makes $15 per hour, right? So I can go and work for Amazon, for example, be one of the delivery drivers. So somewhere in the vicinity of $15 an hour. Now, if I work 40 hours, a week, that's uh, $600 per week. So if I work 50 weeks out of the year, so I'll give myself two weeks vacation, $600 per week times 50 weeks in the year, that's $30,000 that I would make per year. And so I'm giving up for every year of college, I'm giving up the chance to make $30,000. And so multiplied by my four years here in college, that amounts to $120,000. Right? So the, the opportunity cost of your time spent here in college is the foregone wages that you didn't earn. Here in my example, that's worth $120,000. So the, the total cost of college is the direct cost plus your opportunity cost, right? So you had direct expenses of $60,000 plus the opportunity cost of the money you're not earning, $120,000 means that in total, it's going to cost you somewhere in the vicinity of 180000 in order to get a four-year degree. Now, before you stop the video um, and email the registrar and, and drop all of your classes, right? Uh, obviously, we, we know that uh, getting your four-year degree is going to pay off much more than this initial upfront cost of $180,000. So the point of this is not to make you think the college is too expensive, quite the opposite. Uh, it's a great deal for what you get, is just to help us understand what is opportunity cost and how would I calculate it in a particular example. And this gives us one such example. Now, if we go back to 
my idea of Facebook, I can similarly calculate the opportunity cost of using Facebook. So when I say, how much does Facebook cost? And you say nothing, I say, no, there's an opportunity cost to using Facebook. Your time is scarce. And by spending an hour on Facebook, you gave up an hour of something else. Now, how much is an hour of your time worth is whatever your hourly wage would be. So like I said, if I make $15 an hour, the value of that time then is $15. So if I spend one hour on Facebook, it costs me $15. So you can, you can run from there, right? How many hours in a total year do you spend on Facebook? Right, so if I spend 10 hours a week on Facebook, that would be um, 15 times 10 dollars in terms of my opportunity cost, right? So not insignificant, right, uh, in terms of the cost. Um, so you add that up over the course of the year, and the cost of using Facebook is probably going to be, you know, somewhere in the three to five thousand dollar range uh, of hours that you've given up, and the value of that hour is pegged at $15. So we don't often think in this way, right? When I, when I decide, am I going to use Facebook? I'm not thinking the dollar amount that it costs me, but that's what we should be doing, right? Every time that I make a decision on my time, I want to relate it back to what I'm giving up. And ultimately what I'm giving up is whatever my wage would be if I went and worked with that hour. Now that doesn't mean you're going to work with that extra hour. You might use another activity, but it helps me place value on my time and make better decisions, right? So is Facebook using Facebook worth the $5,000 per year that you could have been working had you not spent that time using Facebook? So that is the idea of opportunity cost given a, a particular um, example. And so that leads us to, to some important ideas, um, which, you know, we've gotten into this a bit in, in the, COVID uh, aspect and something we'll discuss more, you know, when I say, what's the optimal level of crime? Most of you will say none, zero, but you're forgetting about the opportunity cost, right? So if I want to get rid of all crime, which I could, right? If we had enough police officers, if we had enough people always patrolling, right? If we had cameras um, in every room or attached to every person, I could certainly prevent any crimes from happening. But that cost is really, really high, right? So when you think about these ideas, you want to think about what's the opportunity cost, what is the inherent trade-off. And so that's how economists operate, right? When I think optimization, I'm going to weigh the benefits of my decision, getting rid of crime, against the cost of doing it. And we'll learn how exactly we, we, we balance those two things. But the optimal level of crime is, is going to be positive because the cost of getting rid of all of it is simply too high. Okay, so that's it for the first principle of economics, optimization. In the next video, we'll work on uh, the idea of equilibrium.